So today, we have two incredibly powerful characters going head to head. Blue Marvel versus Hercules. Who wins? Let's find out. So, after being exposed to the negative zone, Adam Brandshear became the only man to be able to store antimatter in his body, which gave him many powers and abilities, and he became known as Blue Marvel. Antimatter is just matter, but the particles are of the opposite charge. One gram of this is equal to one of the nukes dropped in World War II, just an FYI. He has superhuman strength as he was able to lift the island of Man Manhattan, uh, beat King Hyperion and Anti-Man, and sent Red Hawk flying with a punch before. He has nine vulnerability as he survived a hydrogen bomb blowing up in his hands unfazed. He was also unfazed when Sentry punched him right in the face. Didn't even flinch. He can manipulate his antimatter for many purposes, like projecting concussive force bolts, projecting stun bolts, and he, he can release a massive omnidirectional pulse of devastating power. He can also control how destructive his blasts are. He can run, move, and fly faster than supersonic speeds. He can manipulate matter and energy. He's a genius in the field of theoretical physics and in his study of antimatter. And finally, he is a trained fighter as well. And in the other corner, Hercules. He is the son of Zeus and, has, and possesses godlike strength, stamina, durability, and speed superior to all other Olympians except possibly his father, Zeus. He's the strongest Olympian god and his strength is incalculable. He's overpowered Thor, lifted and tossed Godzilla, matched World War Hawk in strength, uh, and his greatest feat was when he lifted the weight of the heavens, which is said to be unmeasurable and incalculable. He's even stronger than his own father Zeus. His stamina is virtually endless. Uh, he's basically invulnerable to all physical harm, unless you're on his strength level. It is possible to hurt him though, but he has a regenerative healing factor to fall back on. He's an excellent hand-to-hand -hand combatant using the art of uh, pancreation a fighting style he created that's a combination of Greek wrestling and Greek boxing. He also has uh, uh, has thousands of years of training and experience, and he's also a very brutal fighter as well. He normally carries this golden mace into battle, which is made out of ad adamantine, and it matches Mjolnir in strength and durability. And he's very skilled with it as well. So. They're both very strong, but Hercules more so. Not only is he in the top three strongest heroes in all of Marvel, only being rivaled by World War Hawk and Century, but he's held his own against World War Hawk and he lifted the weight of the heavens, which is said to be incalculable. Blue Marvel can't compete with that, but he's held his own against Century and defeated King Hyperion, so he'll be able to hold his own. The exact same thing applies to durability. Herc takes the advantage, but Blue Marvel will be able to hang in there. Now, Blue Marvel is much faster, especially while flying, which is an advantage in itself because Herc can't fly. But Herc was able to catch, to catch Sentry by his cape with one arm when he flew by Herc, going just as fast, if not faster, than Blue Marvel was. So speed and flight isn't that big of a deal for Hercules. But not only is Herc physically superior, but he's also more skilled of a fighter. And unlike other powerhouses, he actually uses it. He proved to be better than Thor, who has just as much fighting experience and training as he does. Add in his golden mace and his brutality, and he becomes a real force to be reckoned with. But Blue Marvel isn't out of the fight yet, because he still has his trump card, his anti-matter blast. These things are very powerful as they have hurt King Hyperion, Sentry, and even Anti-Man. So they'll most definitely hurt Hercules, and with his flight, he could just stay back and project these blasts, which would eventually put down Hercules. A couple of things against this though. Firstly, Herc can easily block these with his mace, and secondly, this is an unlikely strategy for, for Blue Marvel to use. He normally brawls it out with his foes, which won't work against the stronger, tougher, more skilled, and more brutal Hercules. Hercules wins the majority against Blue Marvel. Like and subscribe, all the great stuff. See y'all on the next one. Peace.